love fashion. I've always been a, a style freak. The appreciation and the sense of expression you can have through clothes. It has to be from my mother. I just remember she had these really cool boots that had like some crazy Japanese painting on them. And I just thought they were the most amazing thing. She's always had an eclectic style even now. She's probably way more fashionable than me. <laughs> As a person, I try to continually grow and evolve and so does my sense of fashion. There's definitely certain things that I will, won't do now that I had done when I was younger and look back and think I was very foolish and I'm sure I will do the same in another 10 years. I just like being risky. I like taking risks. As long as it's true to who you are and you can wear it and feel confident about what you're wearing, that's key. When people hire me and want to work with me, it's because I present myself in a certain way. And I try to show that with everything I do. When I'm in a movie meeting, I might not wear what I'm going to wear to meet Rihanna, you know? Hopefully you're setting the trends and not following the trends, and I like to think of myself as a trendsetter, and most of the people I work with, I would definitely consider trendsetters. Style and fashion is a way to express yourself as an artist, as a person, and it's something we can all do. It's hard to, I think, for me to say I'm obsessed with one style of fashion because every day I wake up and I want to look like something else or be something else for that day, and I kind of like to play with whatever mood I'm in. However my mood is, is kind of how I dress. If I want to, you know, wear really high-end things or low-key or retro or be girl, I kind of run the gamut, I think, in my, my wardrobe. You know, whether I'm wearing heels to the basketball court or sneakers to the club, it's like, I just do what I want and move to my own beat in that way. <laughs>